my favourite book is Harry Potter. My favourite film is Harry Potter. My favourite sport is football. My favourite sport is football. My favourite colour is light blue. My favourite colour is blue. Oldham is a multicultural town with a history of tension between some members of the Asian and white communities. Social and geographical segregation has evolved here and children from the two communities rarely have chance to mix. In 2000, Oldham LEA founded the Oldham Schools Linking Project, giving children of different ethnic groups the opportunity to meet, socialise, learn and play together to further understanding and respect of each other's culture and religion, and to emphasise not just the differences between the children, but the similarities. It's very important to link children from a young age because there is quite a lot of evidence which suggests that um, attitudes, racism, for example, and prejudice, really start kicking in at about eight years old is when children will really start reflecting some of the attitudes that they're hearing possibly at home, possibly from other sources. Because when they're very young, I mean the nursery children will just play regardless, they'll run in, they'll see each other and they'll just play regardless, they don't see it. You know, it is extraordinary, they actually don't see the colour of, of anybody's skin when they're five, four and five, they really don't and then you see, you know, that distance d developing as children get older. So you think it's such a shame, you know, if only we could maintain that sort of attitude that we naturally have as, as human beings when we are very young, which just gets layered w with all these other things. It's quite sad, really. I think there was evidence of a lack of understanding and a lack of knowledge and that's really one of the reasons that we felt it was so important to set up a link between children because if you never meet people from another group or another background you really don't know anything about them and there's nothing like having face-to-face -face contact with people to actually build a relationship you know you see another human being in front of you um, and you have to take account of, of that person then as a real person and not just some mythological figure. Today, children from Freehold Community School and Mather Street Primary School are linking lessons. The Year 3s from Freehold are travelling to Mather Street to do RE with the pupils there, whilst the Year 5s from Mather Street are going to do philosophy for children at Freehold. <laughs> The two schools have been linked through the project for five years now and the teachers and children alike have developed a close relationship. So if you remember, we looked on Friday at the article which was about the murder of Stephen Lawrence. On April 22, 1993, Stephen Lawrence was murdered because of the colour of his skin. He was black. No one has been punished for the murder. Now, in 1999, an inquiry has decided that the police service in London made too many mistakes in their investigation. What happened to Stephen and why didn't the police catch his murderers? The changes with the children, in the children since the project started are really in their confidence. They're uh, much more open to meeting new people. They don't mind going up and, uh, and saying, hello, my name is, you know, chatting to people about their families. And, uh, and really, I think they, they're starting to notice that people are the same, no matter which, which area of Oldham or which area of the country you come from. Number four, why are people murdered because of the colour of their skin? They might have murdered people because of the colour of skin because they were like they don't like the um, blacks in their country. Stephen got what, um, murdered because the the white people that killed him judged him before they got to know him. Yeah, and just because he's black, so they like they thought that because he was black he'd do something and then they'd be left out. It's been uh, really interesting. I've really enjoyed it because it's um, given me an opportunity to teach children from a different um, multicultural background um, and it's been nice to meet children who just have different attitudes as well. I think that he was murdered because of white people think that they deserve respect and mm -hmm. the people that come into England that flag don't deserve respect and if they want respect they should be in their own country. 
An organisation like the police can be racist if it doesn't give a proper service to people for any of these reasons. The inquiry calls this institutional racism. It said the police service in the Stephen Lawrence case showed institutional racism. The idea of sharing the philosophy was this, so that children could broaden their experiences and then they actually got into discussions with people of another culture before they ended up in secondary school where they mixed with children from lots of different cultures that they've never met before and perhaps got into disagreements that they didn't actually know how to handle in a um, polite way. Can anybody remember from our work before what a pilgrim is or what a pilgrimage is? Yes. It is. It's when you go on a holy journey. And we said, didn't we, that people from all different faiths go on a holy journey. I wonder if anybody from my class can tell me one holy journey that they learnt about. Jake. The River Ganges. Right. Who Can you remember who might visit the River Ganges? Hindus. Hindus. Is that what you're going to say? Well done. Hindus might go on a holy journey to the River Ganges. What about another holy journey, another pilgrimage? You know, Oldham's quite a multi-faith community, um, and so I think it's important, um, you know, that the children are exposed to all kinds of faiths. And just actually being able to talk about that, I think because the children from Freehold, their Muslim faith is quite... Um, it's quite closely linked to their culture, mm. whereas a lot of the children at Mather Street, um, although they would describe themselves as Christians, um, don't worship in a formal way, they don't go to church and things. Some of our children do, um, but not in the same um, majority as, as the children yeah. from Freehold. It's much more through the conversation I found than, than the actual activity they've been doing. The, the actual conversations that the children have been undertaking between themselves mm. have been much more beneficial to them. Yeah. If I went to a mosque and I was wearing, say, some shorts and a T-shirt, would I be allowed to go in? No. Um, let's see who can tell us something about that. Um, Aisha. But, but you have to cut yourself before you go in. And you're not allowed to show your hair. It's good that they feel comfortable to go to an environment where they are the minority. And I think for Mother Street children, that's important. It's important for them to learn about that feeling of being a minority um, because it helps them to empathise with the other children from the other school. Definitely. Why do you think that might be, Jake, that you have to cover your head and cover yourself? Because it's more respectful to their God. Absolutely. Right. We take the children up to our local outdoor environmental Centre, Castle Shore. Each team starts this game with 20 points. And the, idea is... and the reason that we do that is that we feel it's very important to give the children opportunities to mix together off-site, outside of the school base, so that in a way they're all outside of their own familiar territory. So going up to Castle Shore, which is right on the edge of the borough, right on the edge of the moors, gives the children an opportunity to see things and see each other, I think, with, with fresh eyes, really. It also provides a wonderful opportunity for outdoor team building and cooperative learning. And the children really do, I think, have a very positive shared experience there, um, especially if it doesn't rain. We do know that children can be very good advocates and they do go home and they talk with their parents and extended families about what they've been doing. Um, and they speak very positively, largely, about what they've been doing. And I do believe that this does have an influence. So what you're going to do is to create a piece of artwork from natural materials. You're going to go with your team, listen, and you're going to find things to make a picture, and what you make is entirely up to you. Okay? First commit. Don't trip up. Yay! I'm ready. Oh, let's just Put some grass at the bottom. Get this stuff. Oh, yeah. He's a big, 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 Oh, what you got? Yeah. No, just found 
Well, why don't we use that for the eye? Yeah. Yeah? Or do you want to use something else? Yeah? Yeah. Could you use that for the eye? It's a baby's hair. That's a rocket, that's a rocket exploding, right. yeah. and that's a capping wheel. Really a yeah, so the fireworks, aren't they? Very it's been very interesting in recent years to see that the Ofsted inspections of a number of our primary schools have actually reflected the work that's been going on in the linking project, and for several schools in the last 18 months or so, it's actually come out as a strength of the school and Ofsted inspectors have actually noticed that children have a far greater understanding of those from different backgrounds and cultures than they might have expected. And I think that's been very encouraging for, for the schools involved. I think in terms of bridging the gap between the two communities, it's, um, it's a start. It's not, I don't think you could answer all of the problems that the communities had in in one small project like this, but it's a start, and it's um, a, it's significant that both but you know both sides of the community are making an effort, and the parents are supporting the project. Hello. Hello. We've come to tell you about our land. Our land is worth millions of pounds. Millions of reassuring to see children getting along because they are going to be the adults walking the streets you know in 10 10 15 years time and Absolutely. I think the fact that they've had this contact and they've been able to get along um, is really hopeful for, for you know when they get into adult life and into the future it's not going to completely cut out that fact of racism and, and the problems that are in the community but it is making them more aware of, of the other cultures we don't want to kid ourselves and think that this is a miracle cure because if it was so easy, um, people would have done it before. But we're finding our way, you know, we're seeing what works and what doesn't work. And I think when you see children um, laughing and smiling together and learning together and being tolerant of each other and interested in each other, then wanting that's... Wanting to find out about each other's faiths and... and... Not, yeah. Even just wanting to find out about each other, each not other. on a term of, of faith, yeah. just wanting to find out about As what children. they do. Yeah. Yeah, then then they're seeing each other as belonging to the same group and that's that's what it's all about. <laughs>